Emilio and today I'm gonna tell you about work. Emilio, would you like to tell me the concept of waterproof? Waterproof is something that affects you from getting wet. Great. And do you know the meaning of a hypothesis? It's an idea that you can test. Very good. And absorbency? is something that absorbs water. Very good. And syringe? Syringe is this. Doctors use it to measure. Okay. And a dropper? Dropper is... This. Doctors also use it. Great. And you use that in order to measure, right? Yeah. Great. So, would you like to tell me um, a little bit about the waterproof materials that you have um, in the table, Emilio? Yeah, these are waterproof materials. Of course, many people know that boots are waterproof because when, like, you step on something that is wet and, and it, it doesn't let you get wet. These are my waterproof pants I have, and I use them to go like to wet places as well as my waterproof jacket. Great. Uh, would you like to talk about non-waterproof materials? Yeah, these are the non-waterproof materials. Even if many people might think that towels are not waterproof, but they are not. They absorb the water. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. As well as this one. Napkins, as well as right? Napkins. Very good. Anna, would you like to talk about the natural waterproof materials? Yeah, this, this, the honey and the two crimes. Of course, honey is made by bees, and it has the crimes is also something that is made by bees. Wax. Which is wax, which is wax, and it's natural waterproof. Materials. materials. Great, Emilio. So now, would you like to explain what we did at school? We collect. We were collecting data. Very good. And after that? Testing our hypothesis. Mm -hmm. this, those are photos from your school, right? Yeah. Great. And now, um, would you like to talk about the results of our experiments at school? Yeah. This one, I thought we needed eight tablespoons but it was five. Okay, all right. So would you like to look at me and would, would you like to talk about the results in general? Just yeah, all of the it results. It was like, there were, my hypotheses were wrong. It was like, in this one that I thought it was eight, it was five and there's another one. Yeah, the another, this another. This one I thought it was seven and it was really... 38. Okay, great. So, so as a result, you as a conclusion, you thought that you need more or less water, right, Emilio? Yeah. Could you look at me? Fantastic. So, what are we going to do now? A wax experiment. Great. So, would you like to talk about your experiment, Emilio? My experiment is to see if this um, fabric fabric gets wet and, and it starts dropping but this fabric has cryon and you know waterproof you can see the green cry great so would you like to start your experiment emilio yes would you like to start yeah fantastic so you have your water right Mm -hmm. Maybe you need some more water, right? Yeah. All right, so what is happening with the clothes, Emilia? It's going, getting wet. It can't, it got wet by here. Okay, very good. So, would you like to see what happened with your um, the other fabric, the one that had wax on top? Yeah. yeah. Mhm. Mm to see if it can resist. Mhm. Mm because we are not sure. Fantastic. Yeah, this is the reason we're testing our hypothesis, right, yeah. Emilio? It can't. It can't get wet yeah so what is your conclusion that my hypothesis was right so 
Wax is a natural waterproof material, right? Okay, say bye-bye, Emilio. Bye.